Okay, real quick, Chief Prepper here. I just finished uh, doing the adaptation kit to my generator. I have not tested it on propane yet. That's the next step. I might have to wait for a adapter hose, I don't know. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is after I did the full adapt adaptation kit, which uh, it's running right now on gas, uh, basically when you do something like this you want to make sure that it will still run in the original configuration as in like this generator was designed to run on gas so now I've done the adapter kit I still have to hook up my propane tank and see if it will run like that but you want to make sure that after you do an adapter change that it still runs in the original configuration. So I'm gonna go over here and show you everything installed. As you can see, this is the regulator. Everything's ready. loud in there but that is my generator hooch uh, if you watch the emergency power generation video then you saw that so right now I have the generator running out of fuel and that will uh, fit, do another requirement they say they're running the carburetor dry up gas uh, before you run it on propane so the next step is for me to hook up a five gallon propane tank and see if I can get it to run. If I can get it to run, then I'll show that running as well. So this will put me to the next step in my emergency power generation system that I'm putting in, which is allow me to have a 250 gallon propane tank here on site, plumbed to my generator power, power shed area. And then that'll allow me to have about 20 days, maybe 30 if we don't run it all day of, of power uh, convenience and comfort in my house uh, during a bad time in the world. Chief Prepper out.